Police detained a bunch of Kashmiri school cricketers who were caught on camera wearing Pakistani cricket team colours and singing Pakistan's national anthem. The video clip of the Baba Darya Dun team went viral after it was uploaded by a news portal based out of Pakistan. The Pakistani portal said that the match was played on April 2nd. The day Prime Minister Narendra Modi of India inaugurated the Chenani tunnel there and sources said that the video was from a cricket match between two teams, one representing Pakistan wearing green and the other India wearing white. The National Investigation Agency or NIA is expected to investigate the incident. Well, the police in the latest that's coming in have detained a bunch of Kashmiri school cricketers. Uh, they were caught on camera wearing Pakistani cricket team colours and were seen singing Pakistan's national anthem. Uh, as per the latest coming in, the NIA, the National Investigation Agency, will be investigating this case. Uh, this video clip was uh, made viral by uh, after it was uploaded by a news portal which is based out of Pakistan. Sources say that the video was from a cricket match uh, between two teams, one representing Pakistan wearing green and the other India wearing white. On your screens is uh, a portion of that video which uh, went viral after it was uploaded. Uh, as per the latest that's coming in, uh, the police have detained uh, these uh, Kashmiri school cricketers after they were seen uh, singing uh, the national anthem of Pakistan. Now, this incidentally was on the same day when uh, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi had inaugurated the Chenani Nashri Tunnel. We are now joined in by Gohar Gilani, senior journalist from Srinagar, to give us more on this story. Thank you very much uh, for speaking with us. According to you, uh, what are the authorities uh, uh, telling us at this point? Is this a match uh, between two sides representing India and Pakistan, or uh, was there more to this? Uh, I think uh, this was a local tournament, uh, a local tournament organized locally, and uh, there were two separate teams uh, from uh, Gandharbal. One was from Gandharbal. And another, you know, these were very local teams. Uh, so uh, before uh, the match started, so this anthem was played. Um, and then uh, now we hear that uh, the entire cricket team has been detained by police. Uh, uh, but but this is not something new. If you remember in 2016, July, after Burhan's episode, there was, uh, there were like, there was another tournament in uh, South Kashmir, which was named after uh, militant groups and uh, militant commanders. Uh, like Khalid Lions and Burhan Tigers and or whatever. So th th this has been a trend and uh, there is a, um, you know, uh, kind of a pro-Pakistan sentiment also which exists on the ground like uh, organizations like jamaat islami or even the Hezbollah Mujahideen which, which is a pro-Pakistan militant outfit. So there is like, you know, like uh, pro-Azadi, uh, there is also pro-Pakistan sentiment existing in the valley apart from uh, what the pro-India parties are. So there are these... these uh, it's not something very surprising uh, because uh, people who are in Kashmir and who live in Kashmir, they know about it. And there is huge support when Pakistan also plays India uh, in cricket matches or hockey matches or uh, wherever. So there's a huge support for Pakistan cricket team. Right. And as far as the proceedings now are concerned, uh, we believe the National Investigation Agency will be uh, probing the incident? Uh, I, I don't think it, it will be because then it will uh, invite a lot of hostility because, you know, this is something the police also knows that um, uh, th this is a reality on the ground. So I don't think uh, they will want to annoy a large population, a large section of population, uh, and then this will be, you know, uh, they, they can't declare a war on the people of uh, Kashmir. I think this will be, this, this matter will die down and uh, they will just be reprimanded uh, maybe you know, um, uh, released on bail, as I understand it. So there will be nothing more to it. All right, let's leave it there for the moment. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, speaking with us and uh, getting us up to speed with the latest from on ground.